What's up, y'all? So, just got off work, and I'm gonna make this kind of a quick little ultra light trip. But yeah, I don't know what's going on. I just, I've had a headache for the last like two days. Getting a little bit better, but I'm gonna probably fish for like an hour or so, see what happens. So, I haven't been on the kayak in like maybe five days, and definitely having some withdrawals, man. Like, I miss this thing a lot. You guys probably know the spot from uh, some previous videos. I'm just gonna fish this spot and then just move down. If I can find it, it should be like eight feet. Should be right about here. Yep, right here. I don't know if you guys can see that, but yep. Yeah, so I'm gonna be crappy fishing for a while until the catfish start to. There's oh, there's one. There's one. Oh yeah, nice. Yeah, so guys, gonna crappy fish until about maybe the end of July. Hopefully the catfishing will pick up because I've tried catfishing and, and uh, just haven't had a lot of luck, man. So if the crappy bite is on fire, which I mean it is, just gonna keep doing that for a little bit. Nope. Oh. There's one. Yeah, man. Check it out. Dang, I forgot to bring my bucket too. I'll tell you what, we will just put them right here in the uh, cassette hole right here. Well, that's awesome, man. Good to know the crap you're still biting. I'm getting a custom ultralight. There's one. I'm getting a custom ultralight rod made. It's gonna be a five foot, I forgot what blank it is. I guess it's five foot, it's an ultralight, and, and it's getting custom made for me. Um, I told the guy who makes my rods to make it as light as possible. And check it out, guys. That crap you got me right there. I'm bleeding. But yep. Should be about a month until it's done. Pretty excited about that. Oh. Oh my gosh. I don't have my net. Oh my gosh. Yo, that's a. Oh, I got it. No, no, I got it. Oh, dude, that's a slab right there, man. Guys, that is a good crappy right there. Dude, nice. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's a nice crappy. I'm gonna say 11? 11 and a quarter. Yep, if he puts that tail down. Almost 12. No. 11 and a half, man. Sweet. That is a nice crappy right there. Heck yeah. He he thumped it super hard, too. I forgot. Um, I got this stringer I was going to use. And I, just, I just forgot about it. I'm going to use it now. I'm going to give these crappy to one of my wife's friend, I think. I mean, since I won't be catfishing anytime soon. There's no point in keeping these crappy for bait. So I'm just gonna give them to one of our friends that worked for us, so she'll be happy. We'll just keep those right there for now. So it's the number eight size hook with a 164th ounce jig head gold minnow. This is the smelt color right here. Smelt and black shad are my favorite. They both work about the same. Let's try and catch that fish again. Nice crappy. Sweet. There's one on the drop. No! Got him. It's either a thump or my line would just go slack. Like that. There's one. Guys, these are like better size than the last couple, like last week. Oh, there's one. Oh, that's a nice one, man. He's not fat, but he's, that's a long one right there. Ah, there it goes again. Broke it off. I keep holding it by the line. Like, that's just what I do. 
and it just does that. So, yep. that's a nice one, man. There he is. Sweet. They're still down there. I see them on the graph, man. Some of them are hugging bottom. But then again, bottom is the tree. I got the hiccups. Let's try this side. Do I dare let it hit bottom? Let's see. What's up? Oh, there's one. Yeah, man. Ugh. All right, I gotta quit holding it by the by the line, man. Bad idea. What just happened? Huh? That was weird. So that time I let it hit bottom, and I guess he took it as it was hitting bottom. Let's try that again without getting snagged. Kind of a risky idea, but let's see. Ooh, yeah. Small hit. There's one. No! Jacked up my minnow, man. Every time I get hit, I just sit. Oh, there's one. Uh, he's, that's a small one. You're going back, buddy, because I don't need you. Little guy. He's probably mad I called him a little guy. Think about when you keep catching them back to back like this with two pound test line, eventually your line just gets all jacked up, man. Ooh, there's one. There's one. Ooh, that's a nice one. The better one. So I still haven't hit up that tree. You guys can't see them. I mean, I may because the sun is in the way, but um, the tree right here, little branch, I haven't hit that spot up yet, but I don't think I have to if they're here. <laughs> Ooh, there's one. There's one. There's one. All right, let's put these on the stringer real quick. Those people saw my spot, man. <laughs> Gotta hide the spot. So busy putting them on the stringer, I didn't even realize that they were there. I mean, I knew they were there, but I just didn't think about it. They're checking out my spot. Maybe I should act like there's no fish here. <laughs> All right, we're gonna move down to this little tree right here. There is a little branch right here too, showing up on the graph. I didn't see that before. I'm notorious for losing jig heads right here, man. I know there's fish here. <laughs> Let's see how deep they are. Maybe not deep at all. Not deep at all, but he's small. So this is what I'm sitting on. If you guys can see the graph, that little, I don't know what that is, but could be a big old stump probably, but that's what I'm sitting on right now. And this guy is going back. Ooh, there's one. Oh, nice crappy. Yeah, so threw it out, retrieved a little bit, and he hit it. He hit it at like three, four feet, I think. Let's throw it this way, see what happens. Oh, was that the branch? Maybe. Ooh, on the drop. Ooh, on the drop. Maybe that's the branch, actually. Oh, that was a... That was a horrible cast. That hit my other rods. Forgot they were behind me. There's one. There's one. Right on the branch right there. He was chilling on that branch, man. Huh. Not getting a whole lot of bites in. Ooh. What is that? Oh, that's a good one. Oh, that's a good one. Dude, he swallowed that. That's a good one. Heck yeah, man. I saw I got 30 minutes left, but we might push it a little bit longer, honestly. Come. Oh, 
there's one. Ooh, ooh, there's one. I saw my line just get slack. Ooh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Got him. Heck yeah, man. We're getting them today. So what I do is I'll tighten up, slowly let it sink down, and when I see my line just hold up. Uh, when I see it slack, like that, just like that. That's what I know, man. Oh, oh got him. All right, we got what, five right here? Let's just put them on the stringer real quick. Sweet, man, sweet. I'm telling you guys, if you guys don't use the Berkeley Gold Minnow, you gotta use it. You will catch fish. Preferably on an ultralight rod would be the best option. But if not, it's cool. Just use a, you know, probably two, four pound test line. Six will work, but kind of still a little heavy for it. Or like kind of use like a drop shot rig. Now I've used drop shot rigs with the uh, Goldman. It works too with heavier line if you have to. That was actually my aunt who called me. And ironically, <laughs> whoa, she asked me if I had any crappy. And I was like, heck yeah, man, I'll, I'll get you some. I'm, I got some right now. All right, we're gonna try and catch like a few more. We'll call it a night. Getting kind of late now. Hopefully I can. I always jinx myself when I do stuff like this. Ooh, there's one. No, he came off. No, that sucks. Well, y'all, I guess that's a sign. Guess we're gonna call the night. Not too bad for what, maybe a two hour trip, I guess. Let's see what we got here. Probably could have had more, but uh, hey, I'm not complaining, man. That's, that's a good haul right there. Especially this one right here. Yeah, that's a good one. What's up, y'all? Going back to uh, these brush piles right here and these fallen trees. Now I'm gonna go crappy fishing again. So all those crappy I caught, I actually did give it to my aunt and she was freaking super happy. And the crappy that I catch right now, if I do catch any, I'm gonna give them to my neighbor. He loves crappy. Dang, I can't believe it. Not even one bite. All right, let's move up a little bit. There's one. Very nice. That's a nice one. Come on. I know they're here. If there's one, there's more. Oh, there's one. Oh. one oh it's a white perch nice man Let's see if there's any more down there I'm sure there's more down there I'm trying not to talk loud because the oh there's one oh another white perch off real quick there's one Oh my gosh, are they bluegill? Are they small bluegill? Because I'm getting hit. There's one. Oh, dude, that's a nice crappy. That's a nice. All right, guys. Yeah, last fish. We gotta go. It's a nice crappy, man. Heck yeah. If I can get him off real quick. Heck yeah. Nice crappy, y'all. I mean, we didn't do too bad for what? I think we fished for maybe 30 minutes, maybe. Um, not complaining. I mean, we got some white perch in the mix. Got some nice size crappy. Yesterday was awesome. I had a little bit more time. I think I had like two or three hours yesterday. But yeah, if you guys made it this far, 
Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll catch y'all next time.